Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Ark on the left and Fun Dan on the right. This is round three of the Kyber Elimination League. If you want to see some of the cards that have been eliminated from the Elimination League, exclamation point bans in the chat to see a full list. Some of the things you might have seen at other times in other matches um, that are no longer allowed. False transponder codes and thermals for the scum team. You see we've got contraband on Tarani. That's already pretty good. Uh, but no bombs on the Hawk. On the other side, no Hera, no Prockets. So we'll see how these players can adapt. Jostro can either be naked like this, or some people use Dead Man Switch since it pairs well with his ability. Torkoal, I mean, if you had false, trans false transponder codes at the current price, two points, that's great. Um, he's brought Connor Nets. I love to see it. Or Thermals 3. Yeah, so he's replaced Thermals with Connor Nets. That's probably the biggest change. Contraband, very good on Tarani, on any chemo. Snapshot Seaworm, all right. You don't need FTC to do your jamming. On the other side, that's the big deal. Not having Hera, not having potential Prockets. But instead, one, two, three, four, five A-Wings. How many different initiatives? Five for Ahsoka, four, 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 three, three. Okay. Hey, man, I'm just glad to see Arvel out there. Martin, oh no, I see you reached the April subscription goal yesterday. Did you give away the cup? Yes. And actually, the cup went to the, the Hexiled mug, not this one, but one very much likely, went to Greg from Nickel City, who donated a whole bunch of subs at the end to reach that goal, so he deserved it. Some people might say rigged, but the glass half full people would say, that's karma. Sure, he could have just gone to the merch store and paid 15 bucks or whatever it is for the mug. But no, he spent over that amount of money to get us to a giveaway, which he then won. So thank you to Greg. Thank you to everybody who's subbed this month. Next month, I think we'll do, now that we've proven it works, we'll do more giveaways. We'll do more prizes. Hey, we've got all this fun Kyber stuff here. Did I over order in order to do giveaway? Maybe. Thank you guys. Tarani tried to 4K, gets blocked by Seabor. Did Seabor. Seabor barrel rolled into that position. Was that calculated? We may never know. So it looks like all the A-Wings except Ahsoka, except the one who can hand out actions. The support role, currently on her own, the bottom of the board. Okay, there she goes. Three banks, maybe a boost to get you even further, even closer. I guess if you don't stress yourself, the one hard's open. Okay. So we're going to have to shed that stress on Tarani. She could pop contraband and do something... Uh, do a K-turn if you want to double-stress yourself. Do a white maneuver if you just need to make that turn. But I don't think we'll see it that early. 
Tarani just may have to come in a little later. So we got Snapshot Tarani and Snapshot Seaborn. Somehow I missed that Snapshot on Tarani. R5P8. Fantastic Astro Mech on Chemos. Gives you three charges of rerolls. If you roll a crit, you got to take one too. But makes your Chemogila very independent. Reroll and a focus. Almost double modded. Ark is still flying the same way. He beat me in the GSP Aces event, and he paired the pilots up the same way. Okay. So I was worried about Ahsoka being out of the way, but evidently, this is all planned. Was his list the same, uh, even outside of the Elimination League? This isn't an adaptation to bands. This is just the list. Is that right? Also, happy Tuesday. Pews Day to everybody. Am I trying to come up with some kind of awful wordplay for each day of the week? Sure. We had Pun Day yesterday. Pews Day today. What's Wednesday? Wings Day. Ahsoka had Snapshot in that. It says Snow. Okay. That Ion Missile's no. Nice little control piece. Nice way to get a three dice attack out the front. Wedge day. I don't want to encourage an overabundance of wedge. Yeah, Shaka, I'd love to get you in. I know there was there were two elimination league matches an hour from each other. So yeah, if you guys wanna wanna wait a little bit for this match, love to have you. Be a lot of elimination today. We got this match, Shaka's playing, and then later we'll have Epionic Daniel back. Sabine Rins Day, oh boy. <laughs> Vader Day, what's that mean? So if you are fun, then. I mean, it, it sure feels like you're going in for a delayed joust. The small delay for Ark seems to have worked out because of Tarani. There's the three straight. Trying to get Torkoal up there nice and close. How many focus do you have? Just one at the moment. <laughs> Sunday is sun fact day. No, 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 no. See, I'm afraid to, to call a day of the week, to, to name it based on a single pilot, because then people are just going to say, oh, I, so I have to fly that. No, no, no. Finn's day, that's pretty good. But again, same problem. Oh boy, Sunday, sunny bounder day. Sunday, sunny day. For all you sunny fans out there, I am I'm working on something for you. Patrons got a little preview of that this morning in the Discord. Alright, so Seabor. Two straight and a barrel roll. Got coordinated from Gleb, I believe. That is Gleb, not Beckett on Torkoal. Sorry about that. Still waiting. Ernie in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Oh, boy. My camera just flew off into space. Sabine. 
focus boost in. Now, Sabine on this channel has had a rough go of it. You'd think that defensive ability would keep her alive like a fang fighter, but it has not. Not really. Let's see if she can have some better luck here. She is getting a possible range 2 to 3 engagement, which historically for fangs has not been great. Does a hard 2... Is that right? No, hard 3 from Tarani. So opts not to worry about the stress. Just trying to get turned around. Jake with a 2 straight. Who can you help out? Ooh, checking snapshot on C. We're giving you some information. All of these ships, for the moment, are range 3. Let's take a look at the bets. How we doing? A lot of faith in Fundan. Jake. Does a focus boost? Can you hand something off to Wedge, maybe? Nope. RIP. What is the issue with Gleb? It's it's on the overlay. It's yeah, it's not TTS. Yeah. The 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 TTT guys just need to, to update some kind of code. I've told them twice, but I don't know what their schedule is. They're in Australia. So Wedge takes his own focus. Ahsoka does do that one hard turn in. Now, Ahsoka's the one with missiles. You're not going to be in missile range. And unfortunately, if you want to boost, you'd have to lock boost. I don't think you have it now. Just goes for a boost. Not going to stress herself. Has the force points for mods. Now, who do we think's getting torqued? And what are the overlaps? So, we've got a bunch of threes. Tarani won't have a shot. Fundan's got player one. So you're already shooting before the threes. You, you could make Wedge a zero. Uh, do you happen to know what is on the top of the ban list for week four? Yes. Torkoal. Using that Torkoal token. Ahsoka. Gonna take the range three into Seavor. This would jam her, but there's nothing to jam. One hit. Four dice from Seavor. Can you get a natural evade in there? You sure can. Only one. Not too greedy. Jake. Also has a range three into Seavor. Shooting Seavor would jam Jake, or would jam Seavor. Seavor could jam Jake, not going to. I think he's going to wait and possibly do that to Wedge. Two hits, two evades. Yeah, see where charge still active.
Yep, and now Fundan's threes get to engage. Gonna shoot Seavor first into Wedge. Now, I almost wonder, would it have been better to shoot Sabine? Just in terms of focus fire, I, I think Jostero has a chance of getting Sabine. I think Torkoal can get Sabine. I don't know that anybody else can shoot Wedge, but you know what? Hit crit going through. Wedge, half points. Did roll a focus token, but that jam removed it. Very rude. Arvel. Could shoot into Torkoal along with Sabine. But Wedge can only shoot into Seawar. So they're all going to take some shots here into Seawar. Two hits. Two evades. Oh, man. Oh, no. Blanks out. Gets a reroll with Predator. Raz in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Two evades. Oh, that's going to be frustrating. Torkoal at two. And just keep shooting into Wedge. He's got no tokens. Everybody's at, at range three. Three dice off the front with Moldy Crow. One crit. Just not a bunch of blanks and focuses. You can't see it, but there is an evade. <laughs> I assure you. He's safe. All right. Wedge. Reducing the agility of Seawar. Now it's only a 2v3. One hit, one evade. Wow. Was that that was four shots into Seavor for nothing, and a shot into Torkoal, I believe, for nothing. Meanwhile, two shields off of Wedge. Half points, early lead to Fundan. Man, and Tarani just not being able to leverage that snapshot. The bullseye. The R5P out, the R5P8. It's already going well for Fundan, but can you imagine what this turn would look like? I guess there's only two threes, right? Arvel and Sabine. Otherwise, Torani will be able to two turn and potentially line up snapshots before Wedge, Jake, Ahsoka move. Take a look at the blues. You don't need to do it with Tarani. You could try and two hard. Or you could pop a contraband and do a one hard. Alright. 52 minutes. Order of operations. Torkoal has to move before Seabor. So you're kind of in an awkward hopscotching position.
Soka can do a one hard left or go right around the, the rock for the long way. I don't think she's going to do that. I think she's going to go left. Need to focus fire something. That was a pretty disastrous round for Seabor. And Seabor's going to move before any of the threes here. So may try and set up a snapshot. May try to go in for blocks on Sabine and Arvel. If Tarani had a one bank, I would entertain the one bank right if it was blue. And then you could, the next turn, use Gleb to roll him, roll her, um, before Tarani moves. That's another angle, right? You got to think about potential Glebs. With Torkoal having no focuses, I, I don't think we'll see Gleb this turn, but there could be some trickery. I know how to drink coffee. I'm not new to this. If you are Seabor, what's who's it more important to block? I mean, I guess Wedge, if you really think you can get it. You'd have to like two or three bank right. You know Wedge is, well, pretty sure Jake is going to two bank too hard. I don't know that he can help much. You go two forward and barrel roll towards Wedge. This is a complex turn for Ark, no doubt. He's got something set for all the dials. Here we go. One bank left with Torkoal. Probably wants to focus, although you could really get into some... I was going to say you could get into blocking positions. You don't want to block Arvel. <laughs> blocking Arvel results in... Is this Intimidation Arvel? No, Predator. Okay. But he can still shoot you at range zero and you can't shoot him back. Goes for the focus. Looks good. Here is a hard two from Seabor. Who is Seabor hoping to catch? Snapshot on the one hard from Ahsoka. Is that really what you want to you want to go after right now? Snapshotting the Force user is not maybe the best use of Seabor. We'll see. We will Seabor. There's the one bank. From Jostro prepares to catch something, so you know you can't you can't Jostro trigger off the snapshot unless it's Bullseye Tarani. Sabine, there's a block. Arvel three straight. Who do you bump into? You bumped into Seabor, so you will get a range zero shot there if you want it. Ooh, the two-turn popped contraband. I'm starting to think this is all a big mind game. Who do you have with the bullseye here? At least Arvel, who does not have a token, can't receive one. 
Why is Arbel stressed? Shouldn't be, right? He did a three forward. We'll see. Here's a snapshot. Oh no! Bullseye Arvel, Bullseye Sabine. Snapshot on Wedge. So he's going to snapshot Wedge and do two damage. Do a damage into Arvel and a damage into Sabine. Oh no. This is rough. One hit. And gets the damage into Wedge! Wedge is on one! He's going to do damage to three ships with one shot. She is. Tarani. Female Rodian. I know that now. Wow. Sabine and Arvel. And that triggers Jostro. I just talked about how you can you can trigger Jostro off of the bullseye ability from Tarani because it's in the aftermath step. You are no longer the defender when you take that damage. And here's a perfect Jostro roll. Hit it, crit, natties. Oh, no. One eye, one evade. No, not Arvel. Could die to a direct hit. It is a hull breach. Oh, no. Wedge. Oh boy. Uh, let's pause the timer. Got a player disconnect. Oh boy. Nope, we're all disconnecting. No, what a time. Uh, uh, let's save game state. Overwrite. I think Steam is disconnecting. Let's go to the global chat. Whoops, got disconnected, but I'm off. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let me message these players. Steam is dropping. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot you can. Here, just just look at that real quick. We get back in. See if we can see. Let's see if we can find the server. I need to restart it. Steam saw this and decided to put a stop to it. Yeah. I've had that done to me. Not that many ships, but. I've had Tarani spear me. Alright, I think I blocked Tarani with a ship, which I thought was a good idea until I realized that I would just trigger its bullseye ability on the snapshot and the regular shot. Uh, let's go with Hex. But it was the old, like, perfect Gargore... No, it wasn't Snapshot because it was the cluster missile thing. That was a lot, this, a lot of stuff to load. Uh, let me get my cameras back. There we go. It's like nothing ever happened. There we go. Oh, do the dials stay reassigned now? Stay assigned to their ships? Oh, I never... We didn't reload. Never mind. So, Wedge... Now knows that Tarani is the real target. 
Focus boost in. Jake boosts, gives himself a focus. Oh, man. Jake might have... Maybe it would have been better to hand... Oh, Arvel. How is Arvel stressed? I was going to say hand Arvel a focus so that you have something to get rid of against Tarani. No snapshot there. Yeah, Arvel's on one, and he's guaranteed to take a damage from Tarani, so he's... And that's initiative killed, right? When Tarani shoots at four, Arvel's going to die before his initiative at three. Ahsoka, going for a roll. Biddy in the chat saying Connor next turn. Yeah, I guess you could drop it and just choose Wedge. It's a bit of a bummer that you can't get Jostro facing that. Because that's something that can trigger him. But look, take what you can get. That's Wedge, right? Oh, it would kill Wedge anyway. Yeah. Pfft. What am I talking about? There's only one hole left. took that shield off from yeah there it is I think we were also excited about the the multiple bullseye kebab but they missed it I mean I, I oof that was so rough that I hate to make Ark relive it but you won't soon forget it. Here's Ahsoka's shot. Uh, two off a of Torkoal. The Torkoal twofer. And yeah, I mean, you're gonna get six, you're gonna get half points on Sabine. You could kill Sabine with this shot, or you could take the range one into Ahsoka and kill. Get half points on Sabine and kill Arvel. That is insane. I mean, with the right shot, you could half points two ships and kill another with one shot. I'm going to shoot into Sabine. Three dice with... Oh. I mean, it doesn't help that you're rolling like that, right? He's got a focus and he's got reroll, so he's got the mods, but that natty shot. Oh boy. One of eight takes two, then takes another from the bullseye. He's going to kill two ships with that shot. That man. I've never wanted Hera so bad, right? If Hera were here, she'd, she'd be transferring tokens so that you'd have something to give away to that bullseye. <laughs> Here's the wedge shot. 
gets three through. Jake. One hit. Tarani. Natty evade. Oof. All right. Jostero, no shot. Seabor shouldn't have anything. Torquil doesn't have anything anymore. Man. That is rough. Remember seeing it cause a commotion on GSP stream of back in the day. Munitions fail safe in this. Yeah. And that's what happened to me is... Um, Tarani with cluster missiles and R5TK locked Gargor. Gargor then bumps into you. Tarani shoots Gargor. Munitions fail safe, cancels the attack. Gargor deals a damage at range zero. Tarani's ability then triggers. Then you cluster missile off of Gargor into the actual opponent, and it all happens again. Scum list. The scum list is tough for sure, but it doesn't like being attacked from multiple angles. Yeah, it wasn't exactly a joust, right? You went across the top, came in. Uh, Ahsoka was sort of flanking, but yeah, you gotta have the... You gotta let the list kind of split up a little bit. Cargo deals a crit, yeah. And the, the the thing I didn't realize before that Tarani thing happened to me, I saw Tarani take the target lock on Gargor, and then I forgot about it. And I thought I'll block Gar I'll block Tarani, and I'll stop Tarani from getting the munitions. What I failed to realize is that the target lock on Gargor had already enabled the uh, cluster missile. But yeah, I mean, that's the kind of thing that's real dirty and nasty, and you see it once and you start planning for it for the next time. I did not take Gargor seriously. Did not think about that lock. Maybe I should have shot that ship on its approach. Easier said than done. It's a M3A taking an evade every turn. Craig advocating for afterburners on Gargor. And that combo was decent, but I haven't seen a whole lot of Gargor since then. Kind of a one-trick pony. All right. So, like we were talking about earlier, probably going to take a Connor net. Yep, here it is. Wedge is going to be dead. Just when you think you've seen the worst of it, you've come out, you're going to start acing these scum ships, and then, oh, nope, Wedge is gone. It's Jake and Ahsoka now. So Torkoal, two straight, focus, rotate. One turn from Seabor. Do I need to roll?
Yeah, I'm gonna roll. Try and catch. Try and both block Ahsoka and catch Jake. Talon roll from Jostro. <coughs> There's the one forward from Toronto. Just gonna stay right there. Seems like a sound strategy. Sloops out of Jake. No snapshot. Too far away from Seabor. I'm going to check the snapshot from Tarani. Does get it. Oh, no. If you if you take the snapshot here, if you take the damage, Jostro gets a range one shot. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. You are defending. Has to be in the bullseye for that to happen. One hit, one evade. I'll get it straight. All right. Uh, Torkel. Probably going to reduce Ahsoka? Yeah. Tarani. Range 2. Has R5 P8. For a reroll if you want it. Nah. Do you use it here? I guess you don't have to be precious about it, but... Alright. Almost ro rolled that crit. Range one. Jake into Tarani looking for some natties. Three dice. Two hits and a crit. All right. Yeah, gets the focus on Tarani, so it all goes through. Hit, hit, and... Fuel leak. Down to three. Seavor. Range three into Jake. 2v4. He's fine. Here's the range one. Just arrow shot. 4v3. Hit crit. One of eight takes. Uh, spins a force point, takes nothing. Nice. Shot out the back from Torkel. And then we will be on that Ahsoka shot. It's range two, double modded. There's a target lock and a force point focus token. There are two force points on Ahsoka. Hit crit. You don't need any of it. Oh boy. Now, Ahsoka has no mods on the attack in a Tarani. Tarani, range one. 3v1. You could kill Tarani if you're lucky. If you get a hit and a crit through, that would set off the fuel leak. Ooh! Oh, there was a... There was a crit there. One of it. Takes one. But honestly, once Tarani is gone, I mean, Torkoal's still going to make things difficult. Torkoal's going to make you zero, and then Seavor's going to jam you before you shoot. 
or defend. So it's still going to be rough. was only at three holes, so he's easier target am. Yeah. Torkel and Tarani. Uh, Tarani's on two. Just got to get Tarani out of here. You don't want to deal with that snapshot anymore. Forty-four minutes left. One ten to thirty-two. Seventy-eight point game. Plenty of time, and there's a way back in. And if Ahsoka's in the end game, doesn't mind the jams from Sea War quite as much. Now, Ahsoka did spend all of her force points last turn. bombs to drop for Torkoal. Rip. There's the one forward. Sheds that stress. We've already got a lock. Take another focus. Yep. Charge up that moldy crow. Two bank from Seaboard just trying to block Jake. One bank bump from Jostro. Frees up some space for that Tarani 4K. Now in the position that jo that Seaboard is in, if you block Jake, I think you're out of range too, right? Yeah. No snapshot there. Although we do now know that if Ahsoka doesn't move for some reason, two bank right. You. You can check. Oh, does get the snapshot. Two V three. One hit. When in doubt, five out, yeah. Not a bad plan. Does not take any damage for that. Goes for a boost. All right. See if Torkoal can reach Jake. Nope. Nobody gets twerked. Here's the normal shot from Tarani. One hit. R5P8 reroll. Nada.
There's Jake's shot. Gets the Predator reroll, but only one. Hey, the blank out. That helps. Tarani, though, lives on one. Well, the Fuel League doesn't matter anymore. Gestero. Two hits. One evade. Oh, no. Well, Jake's still above half. Hmm. 44 minutes. So close on Tarani. That'll pick you up 32 points. I mean, life is going to be so much easier when you don't have to worry about that snapshot and that bullseye. Oh. You're right. We never started the timer. Let me look. Uh, recording's at 52 minutes. So we should have 25 left. I'm given like a couple minutes for... seconds. So when I said there was plenty of time to come back, I, it, I'm not wrong. Per se. Thank you, Raz. Yes. 25 minutes left in the game. Uh, but it is a little bit of a crunch. I'm sure when you see that timer go from 45 to 25, things get a little more exciting. Let's get these guys out of here. Torkoal and Tarani can die pretty fast here. This is a pill battle. Yeah. Agreed. Two turn to the right from Torkoal. Playing a little defensively. I like it. Rotates the turret to the side to catch Jake. One hard from Jostro, just trying to get in front of Jake. But I think Jake does not want to go move. Well, Tarani moves first. I'm trying to figure out where that snapshot's going to be. Look at that sloop! I like that. It's very good adapting here from Ark. You don't see... You probably don't see a lot of sloops from RZ ones, but uh, we've seen quite a few today just to stay out of the kill zones and avoid those, uh, those snapshots. Ah, uh, Soka.
could boost, but... Oh, yep, there it is. It's going to make things a little awkward next turn. But wanted that range from Jostero. <coughs> Gonna Torkoal Jake. Range two, unobstructed. Then a force point for two. Ooh. Ahsoka making Torkoal sweat. Spins a focus, takes nothing. Torkoal should be the only scum shot. Range three into Jake. 2v4. Do you spend your focus here? Probably. Unless you're planning on stopping next turn, which I don't I don't see that happening. Alright. Jake, range one, Tarani. 3v1. One hit could do it. Two would guarantee it. Just one. All right. Oh, Natty Evade for Tarani. No. There you go. The tyranny of Tarani is at an end. She can't hurt you anymore. Things get a little bit easier. It's a big gun off the board. It's a snapshot you don't have to plan for anymore. There is still one on Seavor. Who I almost wonder. You could K turn to try and catch Jake with a snapshot. It's gonna be an awkward angle. I think if you one hard barrel roll, you're just risking the 1v1. I don't know that you can get back there to far enough to block a two forward. can kill Torkoal without taking damage. Arc will lead by 12. Oh yeah, so it's a it's a 47 point game. Torkoal is holding on to 59. Yeah, and hasn't been halved yet. <clears throat> oh boy. that K turn from Seavor. One straight from Justero who looks to block that two forward. And there's the two forward. Should be out of snapshot range. Yeah. Woo! Two straight from Ahsoka. Doesn't touch anything. Gonna go for a lock boost. Nothing for Torkoal to Torque. So Ahsoka, range 3, 2v3, double modded, two force points, and a target lock. Oh, gonna use Ion Missile! Nice! One hit. Oh, guaranteed to do the damage. You're gonna get half no matter what. 
A blank in here. Yep, there's the ion as well. Ooh-wee! And look at that. Ark has battled back to within 17 points. Now, he does need to hold on to this shield on Jake. Jake's going to take a shot into Seavor. Hit crit. Okay. Some bad dice from Seavor could give up half points or more. Takes the crit. Weapons failure would be embarrassing. Direct hit. That's half points. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ark now leading by two. Oh, man. Just want to live in this moment. What a comeback for Ark. Four dice needs one evade on Jake. Gets two. Oh, man. So Ahsoka should be able to take out Torkoal next turn. Jake just needs to hold on to those points. Got a stressed Seavor at the bottom who moves. Seavor and Jostero are going to move before. Jake, are you going to turn Jostero around? Or are you going to try and block again? Nips can ion missile Torkoal to the grave. So is that the end goal, right? Not to reduce Torkoal's hull value to zero, but to walk Torkoal off the board. Jake, still figuring out where he wants to go. He could do the one in doubt, five out. Could just do a one hard turn to the right. Try and get out of there. Jostro can't... Can't block that. You may take a snapshot from Seavor if you do it. Yep, turns around with Jostero, moves into a potential blocking position with Seavor. Does leave the five forward open. The one hard might actually be range one. Two bank to the left. Go face to face with Jostero. Target lock boost, maybe? If you can get the range one, do a 3v2. You won't need the ion missile. Shouldn't need it. Range two. Yep, yeah, goes for the missile. It's the safer, the safer bet. Same roll. Three hits. 
Torkoal down to one. Here's the range one predator shot two hits one evade so just a shield off of jostro let's see jostro with a target lock range one back into a tokenless jake could be see could be seeing the uh, the lead returning to fun dan oh yeah Two evades, takes one, so it does give up those 18 points. Oh man, and after such a big battle back, Fundan is now back on top. Torkoal is not ionized. Another sloop from Jake. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You got a 5k? No, you're too close to the board edge. Ten minutes left. Sixteen point game. Killing Torkoal gets you thirty. That's enough. Killing Seavor gets you nineteen. That's enough. Half pointing Jostero gets you twenty one. That's enough. Three K from Seavor, or do you do you just abandon Jake and go up to the top? <clears throat> I think the fastest you can go is a four. You get a red five. Okay, I don't know that you want to do that. There's the stop from Torkoal. <clears throat> Three forward from Seavor. Wasn't stressed, so I, I wonder why not doing the four. There's the sloop from Jake. Two bank bump from Ahsoka. No shot for Ahsoka, no shot for Seavor. No shot for Torkoal. So it's just going to be Jake. I don't know why Torkoal would be shooting before Jake, but I'm going to go check to see if you could... I don't know. Here's a range two in a Jostero. You need two to go through for half. There's your two. 
Jostro does have a focus, though. Takes one. Is that one away from half? Yeah. All right, seven minutes left. Gave up on Jake to go after Ahsoka. And that bump from Ahsoka might have done her a might have been a favor. <clears throat> Let's clear these dice. Sea War 2 or 3 bank. It's a little bit of a weird angle, but potential snapshot territory. Down past six minutes left. Can you go left with Ahsoka? I almost wonder if you could protect Ahsoka enough and just let Jake get half points on either of these two. Maybe you can do it. Are you close? Uh, I was going to say jam Ahsoka, but it doesn't make any sense. There's the two turn from Torkoal. The bank in from Seabor. Two straight from Jastro. Should probably take a focus. They're gonna be defending. What? Okay. That's interesting. He thought he had. Maybe he thought he had Ahsoka and that he'd be getting a. Nope, you can't get a. Jostro attack from this snapshot. Um, there's Jake. Three straight. Boost focus. I think they're adding up points here. Figuring out who it would be best to to shoot. I 
Do you already have the bullseye lined up? If you boosted... Nah, you don't have it yet. Focus boost left. Oh, he's going to roll, give himself the focus, then boost. Does that get him the bullseye? Yes. So, range one, focus predator. He needs to get one through on Jostro for half. Ahsoka, three turn. Is too close to Seavor for a snapshot. Now, do you just try and get out of there? Evade boost? Or do you stay here and take shots into Seavor? Oh, man. Sure acting like Ahsoka's gonna stay there. Range one in the mobile arc of Torkoal. Range one of Seavor. I don't know that your 3v3 into Seavor is gonna do much. And he's gonna jam that evade off of you. Unless you just opt not to shoot. Yeah, gets out of there. Let Jake do the work. You can take one on the shield from Torkoal. All right, Jake, range one, and this could be the final shot of the game with 14 seconds left, 3v2 into Jostero. Two results, Predator guarantees it. The crit's going through, half points on Jostero, and there is no rebuttal to be had from the scum team. Oh, th th there's one shot that you can uh, shoot through onto Ahsoka, but with the evade, and two attack dice, you can't get half. Jostero takes a panicked pilot. And it looks like Ark gonna win by five. Here's the side arc shot. Two v three into Ahsoka, but again, you've got two dice. She's got a guaranteed of aid. The max you can do is one. That's not enough for half. Triple natural evades on the way out. Wow! Congratulations to Ark. What an awful, awful beginning for these A-Wings, but Ark sticks with it. He pulls the list apart, and he wins by five points on the second to last shot. Congratulations to him. Thank you to Fun Dan for playing. Thanks, everybody, for watching. That'll do it for this one. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexel Gaming, signing off.